Hello, I'm your host, Cameron McClellan. Welcome to the news. With Thanksgiving coming up, we're going to have a lot of days off and a lot of weather change. If the Tech Center is closed, it will be announced on 102.1 FM and WNEM TV 5. Remember, if you get anything while hunting, you should take a picture, talk to Mr. Ruth, and get it posted on the Outdoor Club's board. There's going to be no tech on the 15th, no PM tech on the 23rd, and no school on the 24th or 25th. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, though. Why don't we check out the weather with Jarrett? Hello and welcome to this week's weather. I'm your host Jarrett, and let's get started. It should stay in the high 30s and cloudy all week, with some snow possible Tuesday and Wednesday. The lows will start dipping into the 20s and almost teens on the weekend. The weather models show that it will be it should be relatively clear all week, with some rain and or snow possible, and maybe a snowstorm early next week. We have an update from the storms that hit Tornado Alley two weeks ago. On November 4th, the risk of storms will upgrade to a moderate risk, the second highest risk possible. 29 tornadoes were confirmed, one of which was a weak tornado in Illinois. In the outbreak, 10 out of the 29 tornadoes were significant, causing terrible damage to those who were in this path. One of those places was Idabel, Oklahoma, which got hit by an EF4 tornado, causing many buildings to be destroyed, such as this collapsed church, and several of these homes turned to a mess of rubble. Prayers out to all the families affected by these storms. This has been the weather. Back to you, Cameron, in the studio. Thanks, Jarrett. The NTHS induction ceremony is on the 29th. Tune into the HATC VizCom channel for the live broadcast produced by VizCom students. A new episode of the show is releasing next Friday. Be sure to keep an eye out for it on the YouTube channel. That's it for this week. I've been your host, Cameron McClellan. I'll see you next time on The News. <laughs>